Hello everybody, this is Mich Michelle Maybell coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta. So today I have for you, um, I'm pretty sure it's all a value village hall. So everything I'm showing you here, um, oh no, that's not true. There's some goodwill in here as well. So value village and goodwill hall. Um, I'll try and remember what I got from which store and let you know and uh, go from there. So We'll start with this first bag, which I know for sure is All Value Village. I got this really nice, um, I don't know if you can tell, it's more of a burgundy than a brown, um, but it's quite a big size. I paid $2.99 for the whole thing, um, and I thought if I'm not going to make myself something out of it to wear, then I could use... Um, it for making like a book cover or after I've made myself something maybe I could use the leftovers for a book cover or something of the sort so that's the first thing secondly I got a nice I don't know if you can see the color on there or not but it's a light pink and it's got a little bit of shimmery in it not a huge piece, but uh, definitely big enough for crafting. And it was a dollar ninety-nine. I got a few pieces of lace, so I'll just show those to you. Mm -hmm. So this one, yeah, you can tell this one is blue. It's a light blue. It also is $1.99 and about the same size. So somebody's remnant left over, which I'll use in my crafting. I like to make um, dolls and dolls' clothes and, um, you know, stuffed bunnies Knit ones that I knit, crochet and sew, um, junk journals, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, so yeah, that'll definitely come into to good use. Here's another piece of lace. This one's a little bit different, um, but it's like a, a bright fuchsia kind of pink. And I believe it was $1.99 as well. I don't see... Oh, there's the tag. Yep, $1.99. I'm pretty sure your prices in the States, um, for those of you watching from the States, I think your prices um, at your savers um, tend to be a little bit better than our prices up here. I'm not sure why, but... Say la vie. Um, and then I got this material here. I don't know if you can really kind of see through. Maybe if I fold it. It's very see through. There, and it's just sort of like stripes of different colors going up and down to kind of make a, a little bit of a check pattern in there. But this I thought I would make myself a blouse or something out of. There's quite a bit of it. Um, there's one. Two. Three and a bit meters. So. I should definitely be able to get a top out of that. Sorry, I can't seem to get it. Fold it up properly. Oh well, we'll do it after. I don't want to waste my time folding material. <clears throat> and then I found this as well. I do believe it is an ethnic scarf. Um, I'm not sure who would typically wear one of these. Um, this is a dollar ninety nine. Um, I don't know if they would have worn it for religious beliefs or if it was something that they could choose to wear. Um, but I just thought it was so pretty, the color 
and then the lace around the outside and um, it also has these little jewels throughout it if you can see they're done like a I guess like a star right there and that's throughout as well so I'm contemplating just taking all the, the ribbon off using the material for something and taking off all these little jewels as well and then I can just make my own thing out of it um, and do as I please I can use the ribbing for for junk journaling or any type any type of crafting because um, it's so pretty and this material is really pretty too I like the color so it's amazing what you can find if you just if you just look around you know and wh whoever would have thought of having a a scarf like this and then chopping it all up and and making something completely different out of it um, what else have I got here now I love to buy their little bags they don't have the price on this anymore but it's probably $3.99 something like that $2.99 but inside I got a pack of uh, blank writing paper sorry pack of blank writing paper no lines um, and this is what I was most interested in actually in in the box um, for for crafting I just thought that was different and you could stick it in a, a junk journal and it can be just an extra place for people to journal that type of thing and then along with it also came a Royal and Delft uh, notebook those are relatively expensive the Royal and Delft so it's got lines on it that's just fun I don't know if you can see oh yeah you can it's got lines on it and it's a nice pretty blue with birds and then the last thing in here is um, a sales book so it's got the uh, things in there I'm sure most of you have seen these before where you write out your sale on there I thought those would be cool for putting in journals inside some of the pockets so that's it for that bag and then this one <clears throat> I debated on whether getting it or not because it was $5.99 um, however my sister said that she had one and she was actually with me um, this is one of the days that when my dad had a bunch of testing in the hospital that had to be done so we left for a couple of hours so that could be done and uh, we went over to the Valley Village so this is one of the things that she said that I must get because <laughs> um, she has one and it's fabulous so this came with it's a Fiskars and it came with all these transparent stamps now I thought it had come with a second package of stamps because it was facing this way so I thought I was getting more stamps but nothing in there I think they left it on because it has the instructions how to to use the the plate here so I still don't know exactly how to use it but it comes with this piece and this piece you can see both pieces yeah so I need to get my sister to show me really what I'm supposed to do with it I suppose I could YouTube it as well um, but it has something to do with putting your stamps on it and then pushing down or something I'm not really too sure <laughs> but yeah so apparently $5.99 was a really great deal for that Then the next baggie that I got came with this I thought was so cool. It's called Cinema Roll. It's uh, the Japanese characters. And then you open it up and inside you have this notebook. It's got different things on the 
papers. And then this one as well. Sorry, that's my dog. He likes to howl at things outside. I think, oh yeah, it's all different as well. Ziggy, shh. Actually, he's, he's uh, howling at the nothing under the chair. And then I got a notebook. Just your typical, typical notebook. And then this I thought was really cool. It's an address telephone book. And inside it has, you know, all the, the alphabet there. Yeah, A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. Um, and then to open it, yeah, it's an old-fashioned one. So to open it, you click down here. And to close it, you click up here. Pretty simple. Much easier than some of the binders we used to have. But, yeah, I really like that. So I don't know if I'll keep it and use it just as it is, or if I will alter it and make some sort of journal out of it. I'm just going to put you on pause for a minute, okay? Uh, my family's just come home and it's getting a little loud. So just one moment. Hi, sorry, I'm back again. Um, my family just came home from having supper at my in-laws. Because of my cold and everything, I decided not to go. So this um, is still Value Village. So I got this. It's got some great photos of horses. And it all throughout. I thought those would be good for adding into a into a journal. And then I got this book here too. It's called Adopted by an Owl. It also has some great illustrations. Oh, that's not one. Some great illustrations in it. Um, and maybe there will be some um, sentences or something here, quotes or something that I can add in as well. Um, but yeah, I'll use that for a, for a journal. And then I bought this. It was in really good shape. It's a kid's board book. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter it. So I'll probably gesso the pages. And then start from scratch and turn it into whatever I feel like turning it into at the moment. Could be a journal. Could be a glue book. Could be um, something based on just about anything. And then I got this. This was actually my sister's find um, while she was here while my dad was sick. Um, but it was too big and too heavy for her to take home with her. So she said I should get it. So we did. Now you always got to listen to your big sister. So what it is, is it's a, it's a gardening book, but it's got the binder. Binder rings down here. Um... And then it's got all these dividers as well. So this would make for a great journal, you know, or, or book or whatever it is that I want to turn it into. So like, it's not very deep, but it's very wide and very, very heavy. So I thought that would be pretty awesome. So then I got another baby book. It's a board book. Same thing, I'm going to do it as as before. I'm going to gesso the pages and then just alter it to however I feel. And then, just that. And then something that I've been looking for is um, atmosphere. Um, I've seen some other people Hey, you know what? They're making too much noise. Okay. okay, sorry about that. So this is just um, a Rand McNally quick, re quick reference. 
uh, atlas, but I had been looking for an atlas with different maps and everything in it because I've seen some junk journals done using some of these pages, and it just adds, you know, to the to the look of the journal, and it looks really great. Um, and then I got another board book. And it was just in really good shape, so I thought I would use that. Do the same thing. Um, just alter it and change it into whatever I want it to be. And then I got a couple of child craft books. I think these are from the same version. Yeah, they are. Um, I got this one. It's called Time to Read. And the reason I like these is because they they have such great pictures. You know, some of them are so colorful and bright. Some of them are attached to poems and sayings. Um, I, I just think they're such wonderful little things. You know, like here, here's, you know, a bedtime poem. And so there's so much in here that can be used and put into journals. And look at how colorful these, these pictures are and everything. So, yeah, that, that can be used for journaling, glue booking, any other kind of crafting as well. This is make and do. And this one, actually, I used to, to get out of the library all the time um, as a kid because I am a crafter. And I, I've always enjoyed crafting. Um... So, yeah, so this has got some great pictures in it, too. And different ideas of different things to do. So in a junk journal, you know, if you put, you know, if it's the, these two pages that show you how to do something, and if you put them in and you left them as they were, it would just add to the journal, you know, something for them to do. You know, you can add word searches and all sorts of stuff into these junk journals, so... I can't wait to make my first one. I sound like I've made tons of them, but I haven't even had a chance to make one yet. i got so many ideas in my head, and I haven't had a chance to get them out yet. And then I got another one of these little bags. Um, it just came with some, some cards. These weren't the cards that I was really after. However, I can alter and use those. These were the cards that I was after because they're, like, they're thick and sturdy. Um, and they're, they're shiny, so, um, I can just gesso those and then decorate them however I want. Or, if I'm doing a kid's journal, I can just leave them as is, too. I think it was $1.99 for those, too. I don't usually pay more than that for sets of cards. Oh, and one more piece of lace. It's a white one. I believe it was $1.99 as well. So that is just white lace. Probably something you'd see on shears or um, in the kitchen or something like that, but I'm going to use that for crafting. All right. So that may be all the Value Village stuff. The rest of this might be from Goodwill. Or you know what, why don't I end this one here, saying that that is my, uh, my Value Village purchases, my Value Village haul. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, just click below on the like button, and uh, also subscribe. That would be great. I really need some subscribers to get going here. Um, I do actually have two more hauls left to do. This is all stuff that I've accumulated over the last month when my, my dad was sick. You know, we had to pop out for a few hours because he'd get tests done or he's been sleeping all afternoon or whatever. So we'd go out and there's a Goodwill and a Value Village right by the hospital. So we'd run out for a couple of hours and have something to eat and have a little browse around. So, yeah, so I still have two more videos to make. So um, I'll end this one here. And like I said, if you can click the like button below and the subscribe button too, that would be great. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening.